Hey guys, it's Shea Bear 1000 here with Shea Bear Paranormal. I got a story for you guys. I mentioned it in one of my previous videos uh, here just recently, but I want to explain to you some more about that. So, I was working on that lawnmower, and I was just getting ready to do some filming for you guys, and uh, I went over behind you, the door's behind the man door that goes in the house is behind you, and that's where I keep my cigarettes and ashtray over there on the edge of my bench there, my desk, and um, I was getting ready to light a cigarette, you know, so I was like, uh, I heard the doorknob jiggle, so I lit my cigarette, and I just, you know, because I was pointing that way, and I just kind of looked up over at the knob, and the doorknob turned one way, and then turned the other way. Now, that is weird. Um, I've had a lot of weird stuff going on, on here lately, in this house. Now, I always thought the house wasn't haunted. I was always, you know, thinking maybe it was something else. Um, maybe something in the house that we got, an antique or something. You know, I mean, I, I I didn't really feel this place was haunted, but there's been a lot of activity here lately. Now, most of you guys know that her father has recently passed away in April. And um, is it him? I don't know and also um, like when when I was working on, on the engine for that big lawnmower uh, and I dropped that bolt and you could hear an EVP and the, the camera picked, picked it up I didn't hear it so I'm not sure if it was a disembodied voice or if it was an EVP it may have been a disembodied voice that I didn't actually hear at the time but uh, could have also been an EVP because the camera picked it up. The camera mic picked it up. And also, the camera moves twice. You know? So I just wanted to throw this quick story in for you guys. Um, I wasn't... It was, it was just... Uh, wasn't too long after her dad died, like a day or two, I was coming in the front door and I went to open the door and uh, I think Monkey and I just ran over here at the store or something. And I went to open the door, the front door, and it just felt like, you know how it started to turn, but like stopped, like there was some resistance. Like someone was holding the door. We've all had that happen. Someone tried to open the door same time as you or somebody's messing with you. And it was real brief, but I was, so I thought it was her mom because her mom was here. I opened up the door. Her mom was in the bedroom in her bedroom and so that was weird I'm just kind of like well you know maybe it was just something that happened you know that door's never done that haven't had any problems with these doors none of them especially this one moving on its own that's weird um, just like the one time you know when I was filming a video in in the bedroom and, you know, I was watching, the, the looking at the camera, you know, like I am now, so I, I really didn't know what was going on behind me, but that door opened up behind me, the bedroom door. This stuff is weird, guys. Um, but that happened before her, her father passed away, so, so you know, there is some neat stuff, so hopefully this weekend, um, maybe we can do some filming in here. Maybe in this garage if I can get it a little more cleaned up. Because tomorrow is Friday. But uh, maybe we can kind of investigate this garage. Because, you know, uh, everything that her dad left to me, um, you know, he touched. He worked with. He, he He's like me. He used ev everything. Everything I've got here, I'll use. If I don't use it, I'll sell it, you know. I mean, it, but... 99% of the stuff I will use on a daily to weekly basis, you know, like hand tools daily, stuff like that, um, 
testers and stuff I'll use weekly. You know, welders not so often. Um, as soon as I get this cleaned out, we're going to start back on the trailer again. But, and we're going to build that trailer right here in this garage. But, you know, like all this stuff here, you know, I mean, this was all his stuff. And, you know, he wanted me to have it. It's kind of like, you know, he's, maybe he, he's, you know, let me know, look, I'm here. Um, you know, I'm helping. I don't know. You know, maybe he's trying to help me. I don't know. Maybe it's not even him. I don't know what's going on. But we need to get to the bottom of it. And it's going to take several investigations. And, you know, we've done a couple just playing around, messing around for you guys in here, in this house. But I think, I think now it's time to do a serious uh, investigation. But I wanted to add that story in with you. I mean, you know, it's, it's just weird. Here's the clip of, like, ten seconds after it happened. I mean, it happened. I grabbed the camera and turned it on because I picked the camera up and turned it on because I had the camera sitting right there by me. So, here's the clip of that, the unedited clip okay guys before we get started I was standing here at my messy desk don't judge we're still trying to get everything arranged in here but I'm staying here this is where I put my cigarettes this is where I smoke because you guys know well most of you know I don't smoke in the house so I'm standing here getting ready to put the belt on the tractor I lit a cigarette and I looked over and this door handle went like that I opened it up there is no dog out here monkey is with her mom an hour away from here getting more stuff <laughs> but that's what it did I first I heard it like that and I just lit my cigarette so I, I just looked up and I seen it go like this just like that See what I mean? That's that's weird. So you know, you guys, uh, any thoughts? Any thoughts? Uh, let me know in the comments below what what you think. Uh, like I said, that door opening behind me in the bedroom. That was that was a while before her dad passed away. So I know that wasn't him. So what's going on here? Um, they're here, you know, she hears stuff at her mom and dad's house. She was hearing stuff yesterday. And when I told her about that today, because I messaged her immediately when I walked around here getting ready to start filming for you guys, I, I, I let her know. I sent her a message because my phone was right over here on the bench. And I said, uh, I told her what happened. And uh, she, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't a minute or two later. She responded back that they was hearing things at her mom and dad's house all day um, like her mom you know she senses things and she can see things you know she's not a medium she's not a psychic she don't know when things are going to happen she don't know who it is or why or anything like that it just she can sense things and she sees things like um, like in their motel you know that they had over on Daytona for 20 years you know there was a little boy I think I thought it was a little girl, but then somebody said it was a little boy, but I'd have to get more information about that from her mom. Maybe I'll interview her mom and let her tell you guys the story. But I know there's a woman she used to see going into the kitchen of her house. And um, so, you know, what, what, you know, what's going on there? It's weird. Um, the house is not that old. This house is not that old. This house was built, what, 94? 96, 94? 92 one of those I can't remember which one but early 90s um, thinking this house was built in 94 last time I looked it up but and as far as we know no one's passed away here now that doesn't mean anything I mean you know she's got that old um, you know our, our bedroom suit is very old it's from the early 70s and um, you know we do have some antiques in here I've got a lot of antique tools. Now I've got her dad's things. Um, you know, he's like me when it comes to we 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 bought pretty much the same stuff. Um, you know, we couldn't afford just to go buy you know all snap on stuff, but we we did have some craftsmen. But it's like 
the, our screwdriver sets were identical. You know, they were bought from Harbor Freight, you know, some things like that. And, uh, you know, socket sets, identical, same ratchets. And, you know, some of the, the things I was missing, he had. But the things I had, he was missing so I could make a full set out of what we both had, you know. Um, really weird. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Um, like I said, it, it's weird. So hopefully this weekend, if we got time, if we're not... Um, you know, we're, it's, it's been very hot, and it's been, you know, like today, it was 98 degrees in this garage, man, uh, in front of the fans, so it's, it's hot right now, I mean, but, so, and it's been hot, and we've been very busy and, and very tired, I, I've, I've really worked hard this week, and this week, and i um, not supposed to be doing this stuff, guys, but I gotta get this done, you know, I mean, Monkey's busting her ass, her mom's doing all she can do, busting her ass to try to get everything situated and um, so you know I just can't sit around and let them do all the work you know so while they're at the house getting things you know I'm out here trying to do do stuff like like the lawnmowers for sale so I had to get a belt on it you can't sell it like that I mean you know who wants to buy buy a lawnmower that they gotta fix you know so but anyway guys uh, again let me know what, what your thoughts are on that what what's going on um i mean i've got an idea i think maybe a lot of it could be you know like my toolbox has got one hell of a story and i'm gonna have to tell you that story sometime about my toolbox um and now i've got her dad's toolbox it's got a story but i do have a lot of antique tools you guys if, if you follow my videos if not please subscribe and click the bell icon get notified of these videos and and but you know I've, I've got a lot of old stuff here and um, he had a lot of old stuff that belonged to other people he was like me he'd see something at a flea market yard sale if he didn't have it even if he had three of them he'd pick it up if it was cheap and, and that's what I do you know that's why I don't sell tools very often because I get tools there's always going to be something unique or old or antique that, that I just want to keep I probably never use but it's really really cool so he did stuff like that. So I, I don't know what your guys is in what your guys' take on it. Um, let me know. <laughs> uh, so hopefully this weekend maybe we can come out here in the garage and do some things. Um, maybe do some EVP work and uh, you know maybe the grid light or something. But see what we can do. I'm not going to use the phone app because uh, like I said before on serious investigations I. I I won't use my phone app. The phones will be in the other room. So we're we're just gonna gonna see what see what happens. So anyway, guys, again, thanks for watching. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Don't forget to check out Monkey 1000 channel. She's awesome. She's got some good videos. She's getting ready to drop one now. So uh, stay tuned. Flip on over and check her out. And uh, if you're not, please subscribe to her as well and click the bell icon. Thanks again, guys. Bye bye and take care.